Mom, you were the most hardworking person that I know. You work as a clerk and as a janitor at night to support my grandmother and I. Besides that, you were a school guardian, checking my homework every day. Even though you were to encourage me sometimes was with a dose of flip-flop across my bottom, you inspired me to be part of the student on a roll with your unforgettable advice, telling, starting to become somebody in life. I owe everything who I am to you. This letter is for you, my best warrior in life, because I want to thank the effort that you did to raise me against many struggles. You were my personal doctor with only a small budget for medical expenses. You improvised using natural medicine that always cured me. We did not need a man because you fixed everything at home, broken doors, broken tubes, and more. You even fix the holes in the ceiling that on a rainy day will flood the house. You were a very good gardener. You planted roses, flowers, medicinal plants, or even fruit, and they will flourish. Your hands were miracles. After my grandma died, you were pregnant, lost your job, and with no income, you resorted to selling everything nice that we have at home to buy food. After everything was sold, you did not have more options other than teaching me how to be independent and provide the necessities for our home. Your abilities of a selling salesperson gave you the idea of selling the merchandise that we have in our backyard, fruit. However, it turned out to be a lot of effort to sell them in the closest grocery store because I didn't want people to see me selling that. But you, as my best coach, said, you don't have to be ashamed because you are not stealing, you are selling. Immediately, you showed me how to attract people through giving samples and calling with my voice their attention. You require a complete accounting of all the merchandise every day. And if something was missing, I will have to be responsible and pay from my 5% commission. Therefore, I have been working ever since. And I have never stopped studying because of you. You always support me. I remember my unexpected pregnancy of my son. You told me, you can't do it alone. I did with you. Nobody helped me. You were an excellent grandma. Proud of the only man of the family. You, my best warrior of battles, got breast cancer. When you were lost in your hair, you did not cry because you did not want me to be sad. You will say, Stelling, don't cry. I'm okay. You were always so strong. You insisted me for me to come to the United States so that I, so that I and my son will have a better future, even though it meant me leaving you. You were always smiling, but after one year of our last hug, you departed from this earth to rest in peace from the, the devastating disease. The woman I am today, I am because of you. I had the pleasure of having the best warrior mother that God could, gave, could have given to me. You are my inspiration, my engine to fight for my dreams. Mommy, I love you and miss you so much. Your dear daughter, Stelling.